You know, tarantulas get a bad rap in movies, TVs, and viral social media posts. They are portrayed as aggressive, dangerous, even deadly spiders, and are large and hairy and haunt your darkest nightmares. In reality, they're relatively harmless, docile, and more scared of you than you are of them. Typically, they'll try to escape and hide before showing any sort of aggressive behavior. In fact, they aren't even aggressive at all. They're just offensive, and only when they fear for their life their safety, and they have no clear means of escape. So let's discuss the top five must-know facts about tarantulas. Fact number one, tarantulas have venom glands, so they're venomous, not poisonous. Their venom paralyzes their prey and is not deadly to humans. In fact, bites are rare, and most tarantula venom causes little more than temporary pain and numbness at the site of the bite. Some old world species can have more potent venom, causing muscle cramps, nausea, and headaches, but it is not deadly. No deaths have ever been attributed to tarantula venom, but there have been some deaths or medical emergencies because a bite was not clean and became infected over a long period of time. So be sure to watch this video on what to do if you're bit by a tarantula so you know how best to avoid any issues. Fact number two, tarantulas have eight eyes, but they do not see very well at all. Mostly tarantulas are able to distinguish light from dark, and their eye placement gives them a very wide field of vision. Forwards, backwards, sides, and above. Their sight is used mainly to detect threats coming from behind or above. They seem to be very sensitive to the blue wavelength of light while red wavelengths of light are potentially hardly perceived. They mainly use their hair, or setae, to sense the world around them. The setae is like thousands of highly sensitive eardrums all over their body. They detect the slightest movement, vibrations, and even chemical changes in the air. Essentially, the setae is their eyes, ears, and nose. Fact number three. Tarantulas have eight legs, even though some people think it looks like they have 10 legs. The two appendages at the front of the tarantula that are sometimes confused for legs are called pedipalps. They're similar to their legs, except for the fact that metatarsae are absent. They're actually more like antenna, and it is believed they were antenna at one time. But over millions of years, they've evolved into the pedipalps that we know today. The pedipalps help the spider sense objects that it encounters. Some spiders use their pedipalps to shape their webs and to aid in prey capture and feeding. But they're mainly used for probing, digging, and feeling around, but they do not use them to walk. They can also transform to show palpable bulbs on mature males that look almost like they're wearing boxing gloves. Before we get to the second part of the list, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity. From photography and illustration to graphic designs, creating videos for YouTube, and much more, you can find classes that will match your goals and interests. I am currently taking a class by Marquez Brownlee called YouTube Success, Script, Shoot, and Edit with MKBHD, and it has taught me a lot about researching and writing scripts that will create value for the viewers and provide useful information so I can hopefully make the best videos I can. It is nice because they are ad-free and there are new classes launched every week, so there's always something new to learn. If you're interested in starting a YouTube channel or growing your existing channel, or maybe you just want to discover new ways to develop your creativity, I can help you out. The first 1,000 people to use the link on my description box or my code will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare so you can explore Explore and develop new skills and fall back in love with learning. Thanks again, Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the list. Number four is another interesting fact about tarantulas, and that is that they have a sucking stomach. The sucking stomach is a pump driven by muscles to aid the spider sucking the fluids out of its prey. Valves at entrance and exit ensure the fluids are going one way, directly into the digestive system. The tarantula's gut is lined with cuticles up to the sucking stomach, which makes it technically part of the exoskeleton. 
meaning the tarantula will have to pull the esophagus and the sucking stomach through the brain during a molt. They don't actually suck fluids from their prey like a vampire. They literally vomit digestive fluid over the prey. Then the prey is chewed up with the jaws or chelicerae, and the fluid is sucked back into the mouth together with some liquefied meat from the prey. The spider repeats this process as often as necessary to digest and ingest all but the inedible hard parts. What is discarded afterwards is a small ball of residue, which we affectionately refer to as the bolus. Fact number five, tarantulas breathe using book lungs. Most spiders only have one book lung, but spiders in the suborder Mesolotheli and infraorder Megalomorphae have two book lungs. They're called book lungs because of the fact that the stacked plates have the appearance of the closed pages of a book. Book lungs are found within the small openings in the abdomen of the arachnid. The book lungs themselves consist of a series of hemolith-filled plate-like structures. Between the plates, there is an airspace, and this allows air to circulate around the plates. Gaseous exchange then occurs through the surface of the plates. Oxygen and carbon dioxide pass through the thin-walled plates and are exchanged with hemocyanin, which works like our hemoglobin in the blood. But even though they are called lungs, no actual breathing takes place, just diffusion. Now, if you enjoy facts like these, be sure to check out this playlist of videos on the internet's most asked questions about tarantulas. As always, I appreciate you watching. Subscribe if you wanna see more. Thanks for buying Tarantula Collective merchandise, and I will see you next Tuesday. <laughs>